hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope y'all are doing well so today i want to share with you how i created two beautiful grape clusters that are perfect for this fall season so for my first cluster i'm going to take some aluminum foil i'm just going to tear off about a three inch section and then i'm going to split that section into three now taking this piece here, I'm just going to ball that up and this is going to be my grape. Now I'm just going to continue that process until I have about 50 little grapes. Now taking this scoring tool, I'm just going to add a hole to the top of the grapes. And taking this floral wire, I'm just going to glue that to the inside of the grapes. And I'm just going to repeat this process for all my little grapes. And then cutting off the excess wire, I'm really not measuring. I'm just going to cut away. Now I've got them done. I'm going to take a section and I'm going to create the form that I want for the beginning of the grape cluster. And then securing that with some masking tape. Now for the rest, I am going to add a dab of hot glue and continue gluing these down. And you want to make sure that you are keeping an eye on the shape of your cluster. Add this longer piece of wire here and securing that with some masking tape. And this piece is just going to be for extra support. So I'm going to continue gluing these down until I've reached the desired shape that I want. And as you can see, as you start to add more, you will start to bend the wire upwards. And this is the shape I was going for. Now I'm going to go ahead and tape off the stem and cut off that excess wire. I've also added three wires and this is just going to be for the leaves and I'm going to cover all of that with more masking tape and give it two coats of the metallic silver spray paint. Once my paint is dry, I'm going to take Mod Podge and some fine silver glitter and I'm just going to add that on top of my grapes. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then I will add more Mod Podge and I'm going to go in with a chunkier silver glitter. I've spray painted some fall leaves silver and I'm just going to go in with some Mod Podge and outline the veins and the edges and sprinkle that with the silver glitter. I'm cutting off the stems and I'm going to cut my wires back a bit and then I'm going to glue my leaves onto those wires. And I only ended up using two of the leaves. I'm also going to glue down any areas in which my leaf is sticking up and it's coming out so beautiful. Now I'm going to take this rhinestone ribbon and I got this from Amazon, I'll have the link down below, and glue that to the stem. So for my next cluster, I'll be taking these diamonds and they come in three different sizes as well as this thin floral wire. Now I'll be threading my diamonds into the wire and twisting that in there and then cutting off the excess. I'll just be continuing this process. So I'm starting the cluster with the smallest diamonds and I'm just going to be twisting the wires together. 
and I'm just going to be repeating that process by adding a diamond and twisting the wires together. So about here, I'm going to start adding the medium sized diamonds. And as I go up, I am going to start leaving a little extra wire for the diamonds to dangle. So that way you're able to reposition them and really make this look like an actual grape cluster. Now as I continue adding my diamonds, I'm just going to continue wrapping that wire around. And as I get close to where I want to finish off my cluster, I am going to bring those diamonds a little bit closer to the actual stem. Now as you can see here, my stem is a lot smaller than the previous one, but that's okay. I added some little swirls with the floral wire as well as one of the silver leaves. Now taking three of the larger diamonds, I'm just going to fill in wherever there's any larger gaps. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these pearls that I've added wire to. And that's just to add a little bit more personality to the cluster. So here's how this beautiful diamond cluster turned out and I absolutely love the way this looks. Let me know down below what are your thoughts on how this piece turned out, which one of these was your favorite, and if you'll be creating any for yourself. So that is all for today. I want to thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. I hope that you are staying safe and I will talk to you in my next video.